Number one says that we have a baker um, who makes muffins that serve one person, um, one person each, which is going to be a volume measurement. Um, for a party, the baker asks to make a large muffin in the shape of an individual muffin that will serve 100 people. So then this is the like size of the muffin. So this is going to be volume. So by what factor will the muffin need to be dilated? And so they're giving us two volumes to compare. So when we compare the dilated um, amount to the original amount, so 100 people now versus one, this is going to be our K cubed value. Um, so K cubed equals 100. So then we're going to need to do the cube root of that in order to come up with our actual scale factor of K. So K equals 4.6 when we cube root 100. Then it said the muffins are contained in, in decorative paper liners. So how many times more paper will, will be required? So now when we're talking about paper, um, that's, a, that's an area measure since this is just covering the outside portion of the muffin. So when we compare um, the original to this new one, so now our original covered one muffin. So we're going to multiply this by the scale factor squared to come up with how many paper liners we need. And remember, we just figured out that the scale factor is 4.6. So we'll do 1 times 4.6 squared, and this will give us um, 21.5. All right, number two says a board game manufacturer um, manufacturer wraps its games in plastic. Most popular games come in a box that's eight centimeters tall and uses 1,408 square centimeters of plastic wrap. So this right here is an area measure. And then this one is just giving us, this eight centimeters tall is just giving us a length. Um, and so... Then it says the company sells a travel version of the game that's a dilation of the original. The travel version uses 198 square centimeters of plastic wrap. How tall will this version of the box be? So the two measurements that they gave us in each are the areas. So when we take a look at the travel size area versus the original area, that will help us get our K squared since we're comparing areas. So 198 divided by 1,408 gives us a K squared of 0.14. So now to figure out our scale factor or what we were dilating by, we're going to square root that. And the square root of 0.14 is 0.375. So this is what we need to dilate the box by. And they gave us the height. And since this is just a measurement, we're going to take it times the scale factor. So it will be this times, um, or the original height times the scale factor. And that will give us our new height um, in the travel size version of three centimeters. Number three, a cone with a surface area of 360 pi inches squared. So we've got a surface area um, and a volume of 800 pi inches cubed. The cone is dilated and the surface area of the new cone is um, 2,225 pi inches squared. What will the dilated volume be? So they've given us both surface areas, so we'll be able to compare this. So the new surface area is 2,250 pi versus the original is 360 pi. So when we compare areas, we'll get our k squared. And we see that they both have pi, so that will cancel out. Um, and so we will get our k value here of 6.25 or sorry, our K squared value. So then to get K, we will square root this. 
and this will give us our scale factor of 2.25. Now when we go to find the new volume, okay, we need to take the original volume, which is 800 pi, and we need to multiply that by our scale factor cubed. So we will multiply by 2.25 to the third power, and this will give us um, 9,112.5 pi um, inches cubed. So I didn't multiply in the pi, I just multiplied the 800 times this cubed and just left pi. You could certainly um, multiply out pi if you wanted the full decimal version as well. All right, then number four says a skill model of an oil trucker can hold one gallon of oil. If a trucking company wants a full-size truck to hold 800 gallons, okay, so hold 800 gallons is um, going to be volume. So this is the new one. The original held one gallon. What must the scale factor be? So we're looking for the K value. Um, to get from, to bring us from one to 8,000 in volume. So we'll take um, and compare our volumes. So our new volume is 8,000 divided by our original volume, and that's going to be our K cubed. So then to get our dilation amount, we will just cube root each of these. And so the cube root of 8,000 is 20. So our scale factor or our dilated amount needs to be 20 times bigger. Number five, a solid has a volume of four cubic units. And then um, this equation represents the scale factor by which a solid must be dilated to obtain the image with a volume of v cubic units list two points that are on the graph of this so you just get to pick points that you're going to plug into this equation so um if you wanted to pick and put in um i'm looking in here i like so it's dividing by four so i would like to pick a number that's divisible by four you can pick anything um so if you wanted to pick one you certainly could then you'll just plug it in here. So then K will equal the cube root of one divided by four. And then that doesn't simplify. So then this is going to be the cube root of one divided by four. So there's one point. Um, and so if we want to do what I said where, it needs, where we pick a number divisible by four. I'm going to put four in. So then this would be the cube root of four divided by four. And four divided by four is one. And the cube root of one is one. So when we plug four in, we get one back. So those are just two examples of points that would be on this graph. Number six, a cube has an edge length of three inches. Find the surface area and volume of the cube. So remember um, that a cube is just has all square surfaces. So all of these surfaces are exactly the same. And so for the surface area, there are six squares here. So the six square surfaces. So if we find the area of one of them, we can just multiply by six. And so the length of one of the sides is three. So if we do three times three, that will give us the area of one square. So the area of one square is three times three, which is nine. So then the surface area is going to equal nine times the six surfaces. And so we're going to get 54 inches squared for the area. Then when we go to do the volume, okay, for volume, you do area of the base and then you multiply by the height. And so for the volume, the area of the base is nine. And then we're going to multiply by the height, which is three. And so our surface area is going to be 27 inches cubed. Now it says the cube is dilated by a scale factor of one half. And I'm just going to change this to orange that I've been using for area. Um, all right. So then this is saying that we have um, increased 
the Q or, or sorry, dilated the cube by a scale factor of one half. Find the surface area and volume now. So we've got our original surface area is 54 and we're going to multiply that by our scale factor squared since it's area. And then for the volume, okay, we multiply volume by the scale factor cubed. And so in this case, our scale factor is 0.5. So when we do 54 um, times 0.5 squared, we are going to get 13.5 inches squared for our new surface area of our dilated shape. And when we do 27 times 0.5 cubed, we are going to get 3.375 inches cubed for our new volume. All right, then number seven says a circle with an area of 100 pi square centimeters is dilated so that its image has an area of 25 pi square centimeters. So what would the scale factor be of this dilation? So when they're comparing areas, we know that when we do the new area divided by the original area, that this is going to give us our k squared. So in order to find the scale factor, we're going to need to simplify um, and square root this. So these pi's cancel out. Um, and we could certainly just square root since both of these are perfect square numbers. So then k we're going to get is 5 over 10 because the square root of 25 is 5, the square root of 100 is 10, and then this simplifies to 1 half.